Quick Scoping Derived from the fake Latin, lickety splitter scopitas, it means to aim down your sight and steal face, super fast like. How do you do it? Well, I'm glad I pretended you just asked me that because I'm about to tell me. And microphonically, you. I'll be making a mini series out of this, just three episodes of which this one should have really been the second one, but you guys keep yelling at me, so here goes. The single most important habit you need to instill in your brain parts in order to quick scope is sight alignment. Here is a demonstration of sight alignment. You ready for it? Okay. Did you see it? No, you didn't. It's okay. Let's see it again in slow motion. That is sight alignment. How do you know you've done it correctly? You aim down your sight and there. If you align your sights perfectly, the target will be in the dead center of your sights when you aim down them. And it is ready to get quick scoped. Unfortunately, it is impossible to align your sights perfectly all the time. So, there is a little workaround for this. It's called drag scoping. I'm sure if you've ever held a sniper, you'll know that there are vertical and horizontal adjustments that can be made when scoped in to acquire a target, or a combination of the two. Drag scoping is what snipers do when the target is aligned on only one of those planes, either vertically or horizontally. In this example, my soon-to-be victim is on flat ground. I know this because he just tried to kill me. So I pull out my sniper and instantly position it so that I would be aiming at head level if I were scoped in. That's it. This is where the sniping battle starts, and I've already done half the work that goes into target acquisition. Then, I'll just track my target. Notice when I do, I'll only need to make horizontal adjustments, meaning I only need to move my scope left or right from this point on. Here's an example of the opposite. In this clip, I'm jumping and also having a mild panic attack, but I still manage to align my sights horizontally. Notice how I move my sniper slightly from left to right, placing my focus on an area right above the target's head. And when my sight is lined up, the only thing left is a downward drag to connect the headshot. I know just how much to drag because I've been using the ambush scope since January. This is something you have to get a feel for couple things that can help you do this. Using the same scope on all your snipers. Personally, if I pick a sniper with a different scope, it feels like I've just switched up my sensitivity. It takes some time for our brains to calibrate and judge distances when using different scopes because they all have different magnifications. And changing scopes frequently makes it very hard to drag scope. Secondly, it requires using a comfortable sensitivity that will allow you to make such adjustments the moment you become aware of your target's presence. People turn up their sensitivity to like 10, thinking, well, if it's at a 10, I'll have the quick part down. Then from there, I just, I just, I just need to scope. I mean, I'll be quick and I scope. Boom, quick scope. No, no. If there's a grin on your face right now, then that may have been you. Stop grinning, seriously. The truth is, I've done it too, but a high sensitivity for the most part is only necessary when trick shooting. Don't attribute someone's ability to quick scope to a high sensitivity. More often than not, it is their ability to pre-aim before scoping in that guarantees them the kill. I play on a 4 sensitivity and the only perk that has been on every sniper video of mine since January is the ambush scope. Currently my favorite sniper is the Ephrodite Spear with the ambush scope and none of the quick scope aids, like snapshot or hidden hand. Double down and field scout are the perks I choose because I enjoy having 24 bullets at the beginning of every game, and either firefly or spray and play because I went a little ham on my weapon parts. What is currently your favorite sniper and or perks? Tell me about it. I'm learning a lot from you guys. Anywho, the takeaway from this video. Whenever you watch sniper gameplay, try and pay attention to how quickly the player becomes aware of the target's presence, because that will determine exactly when they've started to align their sights. And there is a difference between simply looking in the general direction of your target 
and taking a few extra milliseconds to align your sights before aiming down them. If you make a mental note of aligning your sights at the start of every game, before long, trust me, it'll become a habit. You'll be getting all sorts of faces. You can start your own, your own face shop. I don't even know how that would work, but you, you can be a vendor at the tower. People will come up to you and be like, Hey yo, what's good with them faces though? Stop talking, Ben, okay. Or you can just jump into PvE and just go ham on some ants. Hit a bunch of shots, tell your friends about it. Miss a couple shots, don't stress about it. Just punch stuff about it. It's all good, no one's watching unless... Xbox! Oh, someone just walked into the house, they're gonna think I'm crazy, so I'm gonna stop yelling. I was gonna yell Xbox, record that, and catch you doing something stupid. But I'll catch you next time. Until then, God bless, and I hope you get some lickety split a of your own. And when you do, feel free to use Imager and share them on the Twitterverse. Deuces.